Well, hello everybody and welcome to our fellowship update this Friday, uh, January the 29th. We're glad you joined us this morning. And this has been quite a week, hasn't it? We started the week with Snow Rachel, as I call it, and uh, a lot of things in between. And it looks like we may be heading to a little bit of bad weather this weekend. But there's still a lot going on and we, we're really glad that you uh, listened to this today. We really would ask you to be in prayer uh, for the Nada Cooper family. Nada was a member of our church and uh, elderly uh, saint. Uh, uh, who went on to be with the Lord early this week. And her funeral will be here tomorrow at 10 a.m. And if you would like to come and so, show your support for the, her family, I'm sure they would appreciate that. But it, at least if you would be in prayer for Nada Cooper's family uh, during this time, I know they would greatly appreciate it. Uh, Nada was a great uh, sister in the Lord, loved the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, it'll be my honor to talk about her and to celebrate the fact that she's now with the Lord Jesus in heaven. And that's a great thing, isn't it? Well, this Sunday, I'll be bringing part two in our new message series called Pressing into the Promises of God. And I want to encourage you to either watch online or be here for that. And uh, we gave you this book uh, called Take God at His Word. We want to encourage you to read the second section uh, this week as you get ready for Sunday's uh, message and next week's growth group uh, uh, classes that you'll be a part of discussing that. And so thanks for doing that. We really appreciate that. And of course, this Sunday night is our annual vision dessert and we've got a lot to share with you uh, a lot of praises a lot of good things and a, a lot of things coming up that we believe God's going to use here in our community and beyond and the vision dessert is Sunday night at 6 p.m. if you're able to bring a dessert to share no problem if you can't but if you're able and you want to uh, you can sign up on your connection card uh, on uh, Sunday morning and then just bring it with you Sunday night in fact you probably don't even need to sign up just bring it with you Sunday night uh, if you can come a few minutes early get it here so um, our volunteers can get it ready for serving and uh, we appreciate that and we'll be at tables and chairs in the gym Sunday night and so we'll do our best to keep uh, the the distancing as best as we can and uh, so uh, we hope you'll join us and again that will be online as well so if you are not able to physically be here Sunday night please 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 get online and watch it uh, there's information here Sunday night we're going to share with you that you're going to want to know and a lot of things to be excited about in 2021 here at Fellowship Community Church. Well, because of the funeral tomorrow, there'll be no men's basketball here, normal, which is normally at 9 o'clock. But men, if I could have your attention, we're very excited about a new monthly men's fellowship, breakfast, and study. Uh, that'll be on Saturday mornings, once a month. And the first one's coming up on Saturday, February 13th. That'll be at 7 a.m. And at 7 to about 8.30, it'll be done in time for uh, the men's basketball that starts at 9. But I think you're going to like the study that we're doing. Of course, we always enjoy the breakfast and we always enjoy the fellowship together. And we're excited to be able to add this to our men's ministry for 2021. And so, again, monthly, uh, beginning February 13th. And, uh, man, we'd love to have you come out if you're able and join us uh, once a month for that. And we'll tell you even more information about the study uh, coming up this Sunday. Well, I wanted to bring you up to speed on the latest on what's going on at the Iowa State House. Uh, the Protect Life Amendment, which was debated in the House of Representatives uh, Wednesday, yesterday was passed on Thursday. Uh, excuse me, on Wednesday it was passed. And so uh, now it will go for debate in the, in the Senate side. But that's really good news. Um, it's come out of subcommittee, it's come out of committee, and now it's come out of the House. And it's heading in the right direction. Please continue to be in prayer that this Protect Life Amendment will continue continue and get all the way to the governor's desk so that you'll sign it uh, when this is done. And so thank you for your prayers for that. We really appreciate that. And, and just thank you for being a church of prayer. Uh, I know that whenever we have things come up and people need prayer and, and things like this come up, that we can get this out to you and you'll pray. So thank you for being a, a church and a people of prayer. I greatly, greatly appreciate that. I wanted to leave you with a, a verse of scripture today. This is our memory verse that, for this week that came out of last Sunday morning study and it's from 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 11 and it says you will be enriched in every way for all generosity which produces thanksgiving to God through us. Enriched in every way through that generosity with thanksgiving. Boy that's a good verse isn't it? We can expect that when we're generous God's going to be generous in return. With that let's bow for prayer. Heavenly Father 
Thank you for Fellowship Community Church. God, I pray that you'll keep using us, Lord. God, we thank you that this Sunday we get to light the cross because someone this week has come to faith in Jesus Christ. God, will you keep doing that here through in and through our church? I pray that in 2021 we'll have to light the cross on a regular, even weekly basis, Father, because of your work in people's lives. So keep it up, God, please, and help us to continue to be generous to you and generous to others. And you've promised that as we do, you'll keep filling our pockets and we'll continue to be a blessing to the world where we live. So thank you for these things, I pray. And Lord, I also want to mention Nada Cooper's family today as they're, um, as they're getting ready for the funeral tomorrow. Would you bring comfort to them and uh, comfort to all that are involved, Lord Jesus. And I pray that through her going to home to be with you, that the gospel will be very clear in people's hearts and minds and some people will respond to it. And I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that's our update for today. Thanks for joining us this morning, everyone. And we look forward to seeing you Sunday morning. God bless.